before you can change others, you need to first change yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it actually goes back to that, our Lord's prayer. Yeah. It says, and your will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. When God was making like the, our physical forms, what did God use? The The earth. earth, Yeah. The earth. So when we actually pray that your will be done on the earth, we are actually praying that God's will should be done on us. Oh, wisdom, <laughs> wisdom, don't leave me, don't leave me. Surviving Babylon, yo, yo, episode yo, yo. six. Episode six. Are we going to get a theme music, you know? Are we going to get like some... You know, it's, some, it's really long overdue. It's really long overdue. It's actually long really long overdue. It's long overdue that we, we, okay. we like outsource, outsource like, yo, okay. we got sing this. Any producers, singers, any singers, talented people out there, you know, that want to <laughs> uh, provide us with a theme song, you know. Hey, we are, we, are, we are taking requests. The song has to include Surviving Babylon. So as long as Surviving Babylon is in the song, yeah, we, um, yeah, we, we will see. We'll see. We'll get back in. We'll, we'll get in touch with you depending on your voice, you know. We need angelic voices. <laughs> Bernard prefers... Uh, <laughs> As uh, surviving Babylon rap, but I uh, me I don't. Bro, 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 bro. Okay, I'm, I'm. You know, be, before we started this podcast, yeah, I was actually li- listening to. No, I was making a rap song. Gospel vibes some vibes, bro. We forgot to recommend the song. Oh. <laughs> we do, we do. See, see, guys, 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 guys. On this episode, so I'm gonna say it now, so we'll not forget. Hopefully, on this episode. We're gonna recommend like some gospel tunes, you know, gospel tunes to so just you, you know when some you're feeling like you need to feel some kind of anointing. Yours, yeah. when you're on that Holy Spirit mode, you know. Yeah, yeah. What you call it? Bernard, Bernard has a playlist called Gospel, gospel vibes, vibes on Vibes. vibes. <laughs> gospel Vibes on Vibes. I don't know about that one, but Gospel Vibes on Vibes. If you're feeling to. Yeah, but I can send you the playlist, Gospel Vibes and Vibes. But yeah, we'll be recommending gospel songs to get you away from these, these, you know, yeah, these songs that you shouldn't be listening to. Bro, uh, did, you, did, did, did you listen to the song I sent to you? The last one I sent? The one that you're going to recommend? Yeah, did you, did you listen to it? I, I haven't listened. I, I actually, I saw it. When did you send it? What time did you send it? I sent it yesterday. Was it in the evening? I can't remember like when, but I know I sent it yesterday. Either I saw the message in my sleep, mm. and so I was like, oh, "Okay, let me let me look at it later." Mm. Yeah, and then maybe that's why I I didn't like. Or it must have been some rap song. So it was not. It was not the rap song. Was it one of your gospel vibes and vibes? It was kinda, but it was not exactly. But it was kinda. What was the theme of the music? Um, it's not blessed. It's actually called "Bless the Lord, O My Soul." Bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord on my soul. I should have listened to but it. But listen to it. No, like... Bless the Lord. <laughs> there's some... Like, listen to it. Like, you, you know, it's, it's gospel vibes on vibes. Listen to it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I have to take this moment mm-hmm. to, to, to tell people mm-hmm. because by now people have listened to our okay. episode on, on secular music. Mm-hmm. And I just want to clarify my stance on the aspect regarding Christian music genres, yeah? Mm -hmm. What I've come to conclude is that God can use things to reach people in different ways. And one way that I've come to realize is that perhaps God can use Christian rap to also reach out to people, people that might be into rap music, and so would probably think that, oh, they might want to get themselves engaged in um, Christian rap. And through this engagement, perhaps God might speak to them, you know. Mm. The only thing I cannot condone mm-hmm. is worship songs, which contains rap. That's my personal opinion. Mm. You know, I feel like when you're worshiping God, yeah, it's like that. It's like that spiritual place that you cannot go be doing like, yeah, uh, you know, you know, you know how it is. Surviving, uh, God is my nah, nah. There you're in spirit and you're ascending. Mm. There's no time to even rap. <laughs> how are you rapping when you're ascending? You can't rap unless you're speaking some tongues and you're. Can you rap in tongues? Can you, can you like rap in tongues? No, you cannot rap in tongues. So, so yeah, because you're worshiping, you know. Mm. Yeah, I want someone to rap and rap in tongues, and then we can see 
<laughs> then we can talk about we can talk about Christian rap. No, but you, rap you know rap. that you know that maybe when people pray in tongues, they could actually be rapping in tongues. It's just that they don't they don't understand what they are saying. I want to see some because there are some, some tongues that like I want that rap. It's like <laughs> my name is uh uh uh. uh I, I see. I can't even rap because that spirit is not in me. It's not bro, in me. It's not the spirits, bro. <laughs> It's uh, not a spirit. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. That. You know, you know, CC. You know, you're trying to dig yourself out of a hole. Don't put yourself back inside the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that. You know that people. It's like when they apologize for something, and then it's like they can't. They keep to apologize, but it would be better if they didn't apologize because they made it worse. Like actually, nah. I'm sorry. You would be such a. Such an ignorant, ignorant person. <laughs> I'm sorry your ignorance led me to offend you. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Lana, let's get back to our topic for today. Oh, yeah, we actually... Have, yeah, do you have no, anything I'm... to add to, to, last, uh, to, the, to, to the Chris, to the rap, rap episode? What do I have to add? Uh, actually, my stance still remains... Okay, okay, but maybe... For people who do not know, I feel like Christian rap falls under the spectrum. There's like I can mention before, Christ, Christian music falls under spectrums. Yeah, we have like the really high tier like gospel songs where like there's thongs inside. Then we have like Christian rap. Like should I say on the should I say on the lower spectrum? Like it's not the, like it's not like it's a bad song. It's just like it's just that it's not songs you would t- that would typically allow you to ascend. Like my brother J- J- Jeffrey just said. Like yeah, it's kind of like within that spectrum of like. It's it's gospel like you get to hear like the word of God being preached in in, in a sense, but like there are levels, yeah, you know, there are levels to the anointing. Yeah, that's and the crazy. reason why why I actually changed slightly my my stance was because I realized that in Ghana we have this thing called jama, mm-hmm. you know, and I actually um, like jama jama songs, you know, mm. and there are Christ and there are, and there are gospel jamas. And these jama like they are like they are really like this 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 is a song I'll call gospel vibes on vibes you know <laughs> because when the jama is playing yeah you feel like you feel like moving you feel like you feel like moving to the beat you know so mm. every Ghanaian knows what Christian jama is so that's why I, I, I this is what opened my my uh, expanded my what do you call it horizon yo my ear on on the fact that okay there can be different Christian um, music genres you know so. Mm. Yes. Okay. So yes. yeah, guys, you've heard it. If if you're a pissed off at Jeffrey, you see, I changed his mind. Though. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an aspiring gospel rap artist and I offended you, hey, <laughs> I was just stating like I don't like it. Yeah. But Bernard likes it. Oh, someone else. Someone else might like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Me, I don't. I don't. A shackles a rap song. Shackles what's what shackles? Got the shackles oh, no, <coughs> Imagine Sorry. me. No 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 not that one. Which one? Take the shackles of my feet so I could dance. I just wanna praise, praise you. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. actually under like gospel Afro beats. Really? Ah bro, yeah. there's a I have a playlist, bro. Ah god, this guy. You see, just just okay, see. I have gospel vibes on my no one check. No problem now. Nah. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'll check it out. Check it out. Check, check it, it out. out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah, okay. We're talking about what are we talking about today, Jeffrey? We're talking about leadership. Mm. Leadership, yeah. Leadership and and Christianity. Mm. Leadership and Christianity. Who's a leader? Bro. How 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 is a Christian leader yeah. supposed to be? And what what is our motivation even for this topic? Why why this topic? Why this topic? Why? You know you know this this topic actually fell happened at a really interesting time because today is the day that I realized that um, Emmanuel Macron, the his president of France, apparently is kind of like facing like a scandal that his wife allegedly was a man. <laughs> Bro, bro, like, bro, I was actually ready. Like, his the the guys was really interesting. In his household, he's, he's the youngest family member in his house, apparently. Bro, is this one of the Michelle Michelle Obama's no, 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 that, conspiracy? No, no, no. I, okay, this is kind of like it's it's not confirmed yet. It's not confirmed yet. But like, on the source that I was watching it, I was actually looking at the if the 
information, yeah, they could not find pictures of his se- of his said husband. Um, oh, sorry, of his said wife. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my head. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if they hear this now, like castle was gone for bit, but. <laughs> But we already set a time limit on when we were gonna get cancelled. Yeah. The, by the end, by the end of the. <laughs> Come down, by, see the month is powerful. We're not going to get cancelled in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> What's Amen. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll not cancel us. We we'll say the we truth. The right thing. The right. No, no, no. See, you know, you know, you can say the truth, yeah, in a in a wise way. And God can still push through. Yeah. Right. Okay, we'll say, not get can say the truth in the yeah, name of yeah. Jesus Christ. Because the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. We, we rebuke it in the name rebuke of Jesus it. Christ. Amen. 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 So you, yes. you're, you're going to say something? Uh, I was going to say, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. These people, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. If it's true, I'm not surprised. The way they're advocating for these things. Bro. I'm not surprised. Bro. Like, I'm really not surprised. crazy, man. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. And so I say, it's, it perfectly falls into place to our topic. If we have more Christians in leadership positions, mm. these things, this agenda, because the reason why they're able to push this, push this agenda like perfectly is because mm. Christians are not strong enough in places of power. So they're able to just mm. bamboozle. They can just throw us away because we don't really have influence in those um, places of authority. Let me interject a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There are some people that claim to be Christians that are in higher positions but refuses to bring their Christianity to, the, to, to those places because they feel like Christianity doesn't fit well at the thing that I'm doing, mm. you know? And one thing I always pray for is that, you know, I know I'm going to get to that position. And when I get to that position, I hope God reminds me of the thoughts that I have that, you know, whenever I get there, I have to maintain my position. Yeah. I have to maintain my, my Christian faith. You know, every time I'm, I'm saying that, if I have a company, yeah? Mm-hmm. You know how people put like, People on your board, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put pastors on my board. Honestly, I'm gonna put men of God on my board. You know, I already have, I already have visions. Like, I already have, I already know people that I wanna put my board. You know who's going on my board? You know, you know which senior man is going there. You know who's going there. You know, you know who's going there. I need Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. Because I need him to advise me on some things that are because, bro, we are weak, bro. We might be doing some things, True. bro. Yeah, and I feel like I need to maintain my Christianity throughout everything that I do. So I need to, I need to bring some, some, some Kisenia on the board. And if, and if, and if Bokman has time, I'm telling him that, hey, please, you know, how will you be on this board? And I'll help finance your, your, your ministry, the things that you do. Yeah. And I'll get one white guy to be on it too. One white guy. <laughs> No, 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 because if no, just to make it like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just equality, said the white like, guy, yeah, you know? in- yeah, inclusion, inclusion, there is inclusion, inclusion, yeah. inclusion. There is this, there is this pastor, there is this pastor. He's his name is the one that I sent you the video about, the one that he said, I'm talking about you guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember I, his name? I, I thought it was a really old video. That's when he, that's him when he was young. Oh, uh, no, what? He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, I like that guy, I like the way he preaches. Whoa. I like him. When he's talking, he's like, brothers, 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 brothers. You know? I like him. I for, I think his name is Paul something. Was he Paul? Nah, I forgot his name. I forgot oh. his name. But yeah, he too, he too will be on that board. Yeah. So that so that when I'm misbehaving, they, they know that. They call hey, you to order. They call me to order. You're not you're misbehaving. Yeah. We don't God the body of Christ, we don't we don't agree with what we what so that I'll not be taking advantage of some workers somewhere. Paying them minimum uh, below minimum wage, yeah. Because that too will be a sin. So I need someone to, you know, bro. And you and if you have men of God backing you, who can be against you? Like mm. you have Jesus Christ, bro, bro, bro. You, uh, okay, I was gonna say if you have God yeah, backing yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you no men of God, God, God backing you, you yeah. Have, but bro, okay, you have God, right? Yeah, you have God. But you think, okay, who would you rather let as a Christian, knowing the mm-hmm. power of God, mm-hmm. who would you rather let be on your board, knowing that you have uh, some of your board? Knowing that you have people that have spiritual, uh, they, know, they have spiritual dimensions, you know. I mean, you can take one of the Harvard people, put them on the board, yeah, and you'll be like, "But you, I just here for, <laughs> I just, I just here for to 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 cover up some things." But the real people are here, you know. They, yeah, they know what's going on, you know, because you don't see the things they see. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, and. Yeah, and as we said, if we have Christian leaders, some things 
it will not be doing. Yeah. It will definitely not be doing. So even though I'm not sure if that's true, I'm not surprised. <laughs> that's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? So, what is your house? What is your like? What your watch? How shall I put it? Start, start the, what you call it? Go, ah, uh, actually, I don't, I don't even know how to say this. <laughs> okay, let, let me, let me, let me just say something here. So, I, I feel like this issue about Christian le- leadership actually goes back to a re- a fundamental, um, should I say, topic that says that should church and state be separated. Yeah, because most people say that church should not be be intertwined with state. But what I say is that as Christians, you cannot not intertwine church without like, or rather, kingdom. Uh, for, for, okay, forget about church. We're, we're actually we are kingdom people. Yeah, we're kingdom. Bro, like, kingdom. We're kingdom. It's, it's, yeah? bro, it's, the, it's not a church podcast. It's a kingdom podcast. It's a kingdom podcast. Yeah, kingdom people of the kingdom of, of God. The kingdom of God. Yes. Yeah. And so yes, when we amen. say that prayer, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, when we have Christian leaders, they are in the right position to actually bring God's will on earth because they're in the position to actually enforce it. Yeah? So... What? <laughs> so... That, don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's one of the reasons why it's a fundamental... Like, should I say... Do you even... Even in the book of Revelation, yeah, the reason why, the main reason actually why God actually, one of the main reasons why God actually even, Jesus Christ actually died for us is to bring about his kingdom. In the book of, in the, in the final book, book of, 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 of Revelation, it talks about New Jerusalem, yeah, where the government, um, even, I don't know if you've heard the scripture in the book of Isaiah that, um, and also us, a child is born, a son is given, the government will be upon his shoulders, Yeah. So in that book of, so I, I believe that scripture is kind of referencing the eventual end in the book of Revelation where we actually are in New Jerusalem, where the government in that New Jerusalem is under Jesus Christ. Like, how I put it, it's under God. Like, God is the one, like, enforcing, like, his will upon the earth, finally. Yeah? Because right now, we still have to pray that God, your will be done. And then, when, like, when it actually happens and everything happens, we don't have to pray that he's with we're in the in that kingdom government. So before we actually get to that rapture, and before we get to the point where God is running the whole show, yeah. Now before Christ comes to bring about that government, we have to still pray to God to actually lead us to at least in our own small way or in the um in our area of influence enforce His government in our lives. Because right now we still have the enemy enforcing it's His own government with all of this agenda so as believers we also need to be proactive enough to enforce the kingdom yeah bro i agree with you and i think that god is definitely gonna ask us like what did you do with that influence that you had you know it's not just omission um it's not just commission, commission. there's also omission. also omission mm. you are this high level i put you there and you didn't do anything no one even knew that you were christian you know and you and the thing is, what the, the, the way I see it is that when people at that position don't do it, yeah, it mm-hmm. sort of discourages that those that are not in that position because they think, well, if he he himself, yeah, the person mm-hmm. at that position, they don't even do it. They don't feel like you're not like motivated, you know. You feel mm-hmm. like you feel like you know you're not even. I don't know. You're not you're not motivated enough to be doing the things that you do. Like, let me say this: if people in positions, higher position, were actually like you could actually know mm. that these people were like embodying like the life of a Christian, I think that mm. it would even motivate like Christians. Like, you know, they would be like, "Oh, I want to work for this company because I know that this guy is someone that like the, the person that owns this company or this leader a of this company is someone that advocates for like like the like Christianity mm. embodies like Christianity. So me going to work there, I know that my Christian beliefs will not be compromised, you know, mm. because even the person who owns this company like advocates for like for such things, you know. Mm. But I think like we get into that position where we we um we sort of forget like who who brought us there. Mm. And we forget like who we actually are, you know. And then we forget like the thing that we have is just a temporary. It's just yeah. God gave us God gave it to us as a means to like, you know, um, yeah, to do something, to do something, to bring His kingdom. Everything is to bring God's kingdom. Like the first, the first thing, you know, the first thing like, uh, in the in the Lord's prayer mm-hmm. after "Hello, would be Thy name." What does it say? Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So how can you pray that and then forget at work that you're a Christian? Mm. You know. 
Yeah, and I hope, I just hope, I just hope that everything I say, I just hope, I just hope that I'll never be like that, you know? Yeah. I need prayers. Future wife, pray for me. Yeah. Every and time I have to say hi to, yeah. I have to say hi to future wife. So, <laughs> just so you know, keep praying for me. Yeah. yeah. And if, if, if I'm going to add to that, yeah, there's a particular saying that I heard that before you can change others, you need to first change yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it actually goes back to that, our lost prayer. Yeah. It says, and your will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. What is man made of? When, when God was, was, when God was, was, was making man. Oh, you mean the, the spirit of God? Yeah. When God was making like the, our physical forms, what did God use? The earth. The earth yeah. The earth. Yeah. So when we actually pray that your will be done on the earth, we are actually praying that God's will should be done on all. Oh, wait, oh, oh. <laughs> wait, don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Bro, so be, before you can Abbas. change your kingdom around the earth. You change yourself. Bro, bro, oh. bro. Bro, we need to save some of the wisdom. We can't just be giving wisdom out here like that. Ah, bro, this is wisdom. Wisdom. This is not bro. just any wisdom. This is, uh, this is like the wisdom that Revelation uh, Proverbs is talking about, you know? The wisdom bro. of the Proverbs is, is what you just gave, like... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, before you can change the world, you need to first change yourself. So that saying is not even from the world, it's from the Bible. Bars. 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 Wow. Wow. That, that's that's true. So, like, I said this. Oh, no. I'm just, now I'm just thinking about it. Mm. Earth. Because we're made out of earth. So let it be done on earth. <clears throat> because we are earth. Bars. So if you don't, oh no, no, this is bars. This is this is this is revelation. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> revelation. I, I don't know how how I saw this. I don't even know where I saw it. With, yeah, yeah. With the Holy Spirit. This is good. Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah. For, yeah. Yeah. Busy, busy. So the thing is. One of my motivations actually for this topic here yeah, was that I looked at people that call themselves like leaders, right? Mm. And I really thought like, you know, what kind of leader do I eventually want to be? You know, people take the term leadership as I'm a leader. I have to have authority over you. I have mm-hmm. to like boss you around. I have to like do this. I have to do that. You know, I tell you what to do and you do it, you know, but me personally, the one that inspired me to think differently about leadership is Dr. Miles Monroe, you know, mm-hmm. may, may his soul rest in peace. Amen. Um, before there were like books, I used to see books on leadership and all these books are like, bro, bro, you know, one thing, let me say one thing about self-help books, bro. Mm-hmm. Everything you can find in the self-help book, you can find in the Bible. True. In the Bible, bro, you true. don't need any self-help book. True, Anything true, you want true, to actually. To live the word life, of God. You, I read, I read like, what do you call it? I read like, um, Mar- Marcus Aurelius, um, Meditations. Meditations. I, read, I read that book too. It's a really interesting book. I read, I read um, st- uh, uh, this book. Um, who's this guy? Seneca, Sto- uh, Seneca, um, Stoic, 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 Stoicism. 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 I read Power, bro. Most of these books are just books because they are worldly books. Mm-hmm. They're either ways to either take advantage of people or just books trying to like or books that any things that you can just easily find in in the Bible, bro. Mm. I can just re- literally, I can literally publish the book of Proverbs and call it a self help book, like you know. I can go back. Um, I will just take the Bible away. Go go in the future. Delete everything in the uh, every Bible, and post <laughs> the book of Proverbs and call it self help book. This is how to live your life, and people will be thinking like, "Wow, Ooh, wisdom." In fifty, in fifty, in in, in a thousand years, they will still be talking about it. They'll be like, "Who who who was Jeffrey? Like, what, what was what was his motivation of writing this this book? This is wisdom, you know." But it's because we don't read our Bible. Yeah, we we don't take our Bible for like. We take our Bible for granted. God has given us free wisdom. And we're out here buying Marcus Aurelius meditations. <laughs> <laughs> meditations. We don't even meditate on our Bible, but mm. we meditate on... Well, on somebody's we're, meditations. We're someone, someone, someone who's dead. You know how he died? I think he died of... Uh, he, he died on, I don't know how he even died. I believe he died. He died while he was... Camp- when he was a, you know, on a war campaign, I believe. Because he was really? fighting a lot. I actually watched yeah. the... Um, 
about a YouTube video about his life actually, Marcus Aurelius. Mm. He was one of the um the philosopher kings in ancient Rome. He's one of was one of the um the four great emperors of Rome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because b before Rome fell into like debauchery and stuff. It was one of like the mm -hmm. I think it was like the last one. Wait, okay. Okay, there was another one after him though that was still good. But like he was one of the like the four great emperors of Rome actually. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me tell you one thing, bro. All these books, we don't need all these books if we just incorporate this simple thing God taught us to do. Love God first and love your neighbor as yourself. yourself. That's the only thing that we need to interact with other people. Mm. Bro, because if I love God and everyone else love God and I love you as myself, what problem will we have? You know, this mm. is like two simple things. Literally the only self-help book, love God, love thy neighbor yeah, as yourself. So because if you love God, you will do whatever God wants you to do. Mm. And if you love your neighbor, you will treat your neighbor the same way you want to treat yourself. So there is no need to read about power. There's no need to read about meditations. There's no need to... Because let me tell you, my perspective on leadership, yeah, mm -hmm. it's not to have authority over people. Mm -hmm. Even leadership, it doesn't mean that you're a leader over someone. It means that you also have to incorporate the things that God talks about. The love has to, still has to be there and the love in God above. You know, the love mm -hmm. of, in God, like loving God above everything else mm -hmm. should also be there. So whatever you do as a leader, it has to be biblical principles, godly principles, the teachings of Christ. That has to be your main priority mm. as a leader. Whatever whatever you're doing is like, would Jesus do this? Is this what Jesus would do? You know, mm. as a leader, what would Jesus do? How would Jesus act? Yeah. You, your, the, main, the main thing that leaders, leaders, I call them leaders, yeah, should do is, what would Jesus do? Mm. Is this something Jesus would do? And the second thing is what a leader should achieve is the goal of a leader is to train people to be better than themselves, better, mm. even way better. Your goal is to make sure that after this person leaves this place or after I'm no longer there, this person can achieve even greater things than I did. What did Jesus say when he left his disciples? Yeah, greater Bernard, things shall you do. Great, greater but, things shall we, will you, will you do. Shall we do? Yeah. Jesus <clears throat> is the best leader, the epitome of all leaders, our leader. You know? Yeah. And Jesus says we can do greater things than what he did yeah. on earth. On this earth, we can do greater things than what he did. But in heaven, we know our limits. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we know where we stand. <laughs> yeah. And that is why me personally, um, I just want to say that I think personally, parents, let me let me say parents, yeah. Parents are the great parents are great leaders, you know. Because what do parents do? Parents, most of the time, good parents, you know, parent, good parents, not just any parents. Yeah, not just any yeah. parents. Not just any parents. Not just any parents. Yeah. Not just any parents. Yeah, you're not a parent. If you don't have a child, you're not a parent. You're not a mother. You're not a father. When Mother's Day is there, no one should wish you Happy Mother's Day. Me personally, that's my thought. If you haven't taken care of any child, unless your the parent is not in the picture and you are like. You're like the guardian or something, or mm. you're like the your mother is not there, so you're like the big sister, and you've taken you've taken the responsibility. Otherwise, just because you're a woman or just because you're a man, you're not a Father's Day. You're not a woman. You're not a Mother's Day because it takes a lot of responsibility to be to be parents. You know, so yeah. that respect needs to be given to them. So for me, parents, bro, most of the times when parents like raise children, yeah, mm -hmm. the children, good parents raise children that turns out to be better than them in all aspects. Mm. You know career even in thinking even in in, in faith you know mm. unless unless something goes wrong somewhere yeah you know but parents that raise their children in christ and 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 and, and, and the children that listens you know yeah they they what do you call it these um these people become actually um way better than yeah. than the parents and that's because that's how the parents they wanted it they wanted it to happen because mm. they train they they brought up their children with God and in Christ that you know in the end that's that was the result. And also one thing about leadership is that leadership doesn't work if the people you're leading you know don't you know listen to mm -hmm. or don't 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 follow don't follow what um what you what, what you're saying that you're teaching. Yeah. For example, bro, Jesus Jesus when he left he told his disciples that um, they would do greater things than he did. Right? Mm -hmm. We as humans, bro, we right now whatever Jesus said then applies to us. Mm -hmm. But what are we doing? Are we doing greater things than Jesus did? <laughs> no. We are being led, but we are not allowing ourselves to be led because we are sinning. Mm. You know, we are sinning, so we are falling short of the glory that we could have had mm. because we are stubborn and we decide that okay, either we have we don't we don't believe, either we we don't even like tap into that 
to that power that we have in us. Mm. You know, do the things that we can do to tap into that power to you know, to be able to do the greater things. I don't think God Jesus was speaking to just pastors. Mm. You know, it's like anyone. And you know, all that believe, yeah. All that believes, and all that if you believe, then you follow His will. You know. Yeah. So for me, that's 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 the whole aspect of leadership. Leadership under Christ, but it won't work if we are not like you know are not are not are not listening. Like in a company, for example, let's mm. say there is a leader. You know, whatever he does, no one is listening to the things that he's he's advocating for or mm. he's he's trying to like lead. In the end, he can do whatever he wants, but he people will not call him a good leader mm. because he left no impact. You know, because the people there decided not to actually you know listen. listen. Or take heed of the things that yeah. But you know, he was doing. for people to actually be leaders, yeah. Even in the um, I, 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 if you if you remember in the the um the book in Timothy that I sent you that for a man to be a bishop, yeah, he needs to have certain qualities and he needs to like at some point he needs to be like should I say it, it gets to a point he needs to be respected among like people around him, yeah. So yeah. for somebody to actually lead people. That person has to be respected because you listen to somebody you respect, yeah? And what will make somebody to not respect you? Maybe you have committed sin. Like, let's say, if, will you listen to somebody who commits adultery? Or like some repent- scandal? I some say sc- repented. Okay, okay, unless unless that. But if it's unrepentant. Oh, no, you, if I, uh, never. Like, give me that. This guy. Like, you no just saw his, a- his mistress leave one, like, <laughs> you, to came, came to the office. You know I'll he's married. Like, shut, shut up. <laughs> Shut up. The moment you open his mouth, I'll be like, shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. So, like, and also because people would obey the people that they respect or people who want to be led by people they actually respect. So, that's if, where, that's, that's yeah. why the saying goes, lead by example. Exactly. Exactly. Some people tend to say, um, don't, don't, um, do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> doesn't really, doesn't really work. No, it don't work, you know? Yeah. It don't worry and and it's, it's really important you know that i think that we have like um christian leaders out there because mm. the term leadership becomes sort of obsolete if it actually incorporates like all these biblical aspects of like love and and obeying god and doing his will it's basically just you know it means that you you're laying down like a foundation for people mm. in order to rise to become like to better, yeah. better people, you know. Yeah. It's not about yes, you know. Yeah. And also, I, I'm, I'm yes, sir. Sorry, bro. Please. What? Please, what? Please. What did you want to say? Sorry. No, no. I. I. You. You continue. When well, you finish, okay. So, and there's actually a, a particular scripture in the Bible, yeah, that says that um um this thing, if a man that is for if for, it's like actually Jesus Christ said it, yeah, he was like, for the greatest in the kingdom, yeah, is the one who be who is who be a servant yeah and the least in the kingdom is the one who wants to exalt himself to become mean i'm bigger than all of you and stuff like yes. that okay, okay let me let me just find the exact scripture so we can actually share it with the people matthew 23 11 it says but he who is greatest among you shall be your servant amen amen, amen. Well, these are the words amen. of jesus oh uh, jesus like yeah uh, undisputable undisputable <laughs> We, we, we tend to find that people want to be served rather than to serve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. where the problem starts. So I have a question on this verse. Mm-hmm. I think that a lot of people, including myself, sort of like misunderstand it, yeah? Mm-hmm. So does it mean that if I'm a CEO, I'm going to be a servant in the kingdom of God? He Okay, you, you, actually, you know, you're not really good CEOs, yeah? Really good CEOs. Well, I've, I've, I've actually tend to notice that those are the people who are actually serve the most. Because take for example, let's use a typical example. Let's say Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Okay. Let me say somebody else. Okay. Let's just let's just take for example Jeff Bezos because he's a really popular CEO. Yeah. He actually has a policy in his company that the customer always comes first. So before, like all of the policies that they come up, they like they create, they always think about ways to actually serve the customer. Yeah. And these companies, if you notice, the companies that actually really succeed and do very well are companies that are customer oriented. These they are companies so they serve. They serve. They serve the customer. They serve the customer. That's why, that's why yeah, serve the customer. So you they gotta are, put the customer first. In the in the, in the the customer's king. Exactly, and yeah, they are actually following the Bible more than believers actually. Yeah, the Bible even speaks about it. Yeah, because sometimes the worldly worldly yeah. people are more smarter than we Christians. 
Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. take a look at Amazon. It's one of the biggest, most, the biggest is, bigger, one of, if, if, if I would say the biggest or one of the most biggest companies we have currently in the world right now. Bro. And they serve billions of people at this point. Bro, that guy spoke the name of the company. It's like, he took Amazon, bro. And you know how big the Amazon is, bro. Yeah. And at the time he gave the company the name Amazon. Yeah. It wasn't that huge. Yeah. Right? And, but the Amazon was... It's almost like Amazon. Feet. <laughs> yeah, it's like Amazon. And now the company is like Amazon. You know? <laughs> actually, now you say that. Yeah. No, I actually yeah. think I'm like, hey. yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. Oh. So let me find something also to call my company. Let, what what would I? What is what is something that's biggest? Um, what's what's the alternative for Amazon? Hey, what kind of what kind of rainforest do we have in Africa? <laughs> rainforest, ha, rainforest, rainforest, ha, Africa. I don't think we have a rainforest as we have. We have like Amazon. Like, no, we have. We have which. We de- Bro, it's Africa, bro. We must have. I mean, we we, we have forests. We have forests. Rain but I don't forest. know if oh. we have rainforests. Okay, we is, probably there do. On, is there a trademark on safari? I mean, do you even your the browse on your phone? <laughs> what is it? On your iPhone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone, bro. <laughs> Actually, that's unfair. Who, 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 who allowed them to have it? No, no, no. We have to. We have to contend. I'm just joking. I'm joking. <laughs> We, we don't we don't because uh, this this earth belongs to everyone yeah. it doesn't belong to, there's no there's no ownership of black people or white people we all, all i mean Christian. it's not just the ownership they've probably already trademarked the name already so yeah bro but like <laughs> i feel like they should have waited for me waited for me to come because i was like i'm african so i i deserve more to use the term safari than, than, than like where is safari in 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 in, in america you know mm. yeah ah <laughs> I hope they're giving like Safari, all the places where Safari. I hope they they should go and establish companies there at least. I you doubt know? it, bro. <laughs> ah, I you doubt know, think it. about something else. Then what else I doubt in Safari? Hmm. Where is the Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is in the United States, I think. But around that side. Ourselves here. Wait, let me check. Oh. let me check. Oh. Hey, before, <laughs> hey, before. Oh, ah, maybe I should call my company Equator. Equator. N- Equator already exists. No one. I don't. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need a, a name to make it. Big. It can be. Big. Yeah, it's it fine, can it's be. Fine. It's fine. Just, it's just, just, fine. just the spirit of God alone. Yeah, just be like. It's big. It's <laughs> yeah. Big. It's yeah, big. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say something. I want to say. I want to say something, but oh, you, you were, you were. Did you finish on your? Yeah, I finished. Your point on on the I CEOs. Finished. On CEOs, yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually said that the I, big companies serve and they get bigger when because they serve while companies yeah. that tend to f- like fail when they begin to feel like uh yeah uh, yeah you know before i used to think that um C- can, can you bring down the the, the the sh- before yeah i used to think that um just because of the verse that you showed actually we're still using it but it's fine because of the verse that you showed right mm-hmm. let me let me let me just put it back up yeah yeah. You know how God says that we should not love the world, right? Mm-hmm. And every time I read this com- um, verse, Matthew 23, 23, 11, which says, But he who is the greatest among you shall be your servant. Mm-hmm. Every time I read this word, yeah, I always think that, okay, so does it mean that we're not allowed to be like in higher positions because then it means that people will see, think that we are great. So then when the kingdom of heaven like mm-hmm. comes, then all those that are great will be like those that are like like the servants and that. So right now no. let's take <laughs> yeah. let's take Jeff Bezos as an example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People see him as a great person, right? Mm-hmm. Based on this verse, unless unless God is actually talking about that the kingdom of heaven actually incorporates like this blessing that like this this blessing of being great. Mm. You, you get what to I'm servants, saying? yeah. To people that serve. To servants yeah mm. so like maybe it's like okay you're on earth mm-hmm. but the kingdom of heaven is already at hand you know it's upon you yeah so you will be raised those that are like you know not like i'm that guy i'm that mm. guy i'm that guy you know will be raised you know those that are like you know the take david for example you mm-hmm. know See how David was just like a, you know, a shepherd, right? Mm. And God made David, God turned David to a king, you know, mm. the house of David, like literally a whole household, you know? Mm. 
So, like, that's why I used to think it's like, okay, so are we, okay, if I strive to be like someone like a CEO, Mm -hmm. is that something like bad? Is that something that it's like going to take away my, me being like among the great in the kingdom of heaven? Mm. So should I rather like not strive to be great on earth, but strive to be in the kingdom of heaven? Like, you know, like, that's how I, that's how, that's the questions that I ask myself. You know, what do you think on that? I actually don't feel being a CEO in itself is you trying to seek to be great. Yeah. Yeah. The only time where it becomes a problem is if you let it enter your head. Mm -hmm. Because if, take for example, for somebody to actually get to that point of becoming a CEO, that person has to be excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That person has to display some high levels of diligence. Yeah, and all or these. Are you, you from your own company? Are you, you from your own company? Yeah, if you see you you from your own company and you serve others, yeah. Now all of these traits and you are hardworking, for, for because I mean if you're not hardworking, the, the company will probably you, fail. You you, you, will stay, you will stay for long. You won't stay for long, yeah. And all of these things, these are biblical th- like principles that are meant to actually abide as Christians. We're meant to be diligent. We're meant to be excellent. We're meant to be hardworking and not lazy, yeah. When you exhibit all of these things, you is you cannot even escape being great. Like, like it's almost like is is even in the book of Proverbs said that see sees thou a man who is diligent in his business, he will stand before kings and not before mean men. So just by virtue of following the word of God, you cannot even escape it. Like it is going to happen if you follow the Lord word of God to the T. But where it gets complicated, where it gets a bit problematic, is when God lifts you to that point. You let it get to your head. And you are now for me. And you forget. And you, you start forgetting you're a Christian. Exactly. You don't want to ask, take a stand on your Christianity. <laughs> and you start loving the world so much. You start you start letting uh taking advantage of exploiting people mm. for your for your own gain, doing unbiblical things. Yeah. I understand. That's where it gets mes- I messed up. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Okay, okay. So it's not even a problem for because I feel like people might have this problem that just because we are Christians, we shouldn't aspire for greatness. No. Because, yeah. We Be- shouldn't aspire to be. Yeah. So yeah. do you, do you, want, do you, want, do you want to say say? No, no, no. I think you got, you got my point. Sorry. Oh, I said being a Christian does not mean that you should not be excellent. Mm-hmm. Because people who are actually great are people who exhibited high levels of excellence. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're called to. We're even called to even teach the world how to be excellent because we have the spirit of God working in us. Even yes. if you look at the book of Daniel, he said that, that Daniel was preferred over the other governors because he had an excellent spirit working in, inside of him. Mm. He had the spirit of God working inside so of we him. We should tap in that. We should tap That's in that excellence. Excellent. We should tap in it yeah. and start, start being excellent, you know? Yeah. No, 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 just doing... Uh, shabby, you'll be quick, okay, shabby. because he, uh, I'm a Christian and, and I should do shabby work. No, that's that's oh. bad. That's bad. Yeah. Um, what's, what's, what's that song again by Ibuka? If uh, if you call uh, a, if you, a billion uh, times, it was calling my name. Oh, please, 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 please. Song, song recommendation. Song, song recommendation. Ah, song recommendation. Okay, so should, should we do it now? Okay, do, do we do it now or do it later? Let's do it now. Let's okay, let's do it now. now. Just just listen that one. Our first song should recommendation. I, should, I, should I? Okay. We're, we're doing this because we assume some of you might know it, but not everyone. Yeah. Know. Not yeah. everyone knows the song. Let's. Uh, so, play. guys, guys, this is um, a book. Um, what's, what's the one song? A book of songs. No, the, the name of the song. Name, okay. Let me check. Let me check. Okay. Let me check. Let me check. I will answer a billion time, 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 time. But just a billion, not a trillion. <laughs> You win a billion, you won't say a billion times, or <laughs> <laughs> is that impossible? <laughs> ah, I'm like, I want to nine zeros a billion times. Uh, wow, I want to answer infinity, <laughs> infinity times. Calling me, it's so God you calling me. So God is really calling me. <laughs> Shakala, giving everything that you need inside of you, and all you need to do is just to say, Master, this I is actually a lesson, it's use, a lesson. Send mm. The things he's saying in the beginning, uh, you know. Give your hands. I like the tongues. Hey, lift your hands, lift it. Just be lift taking it. the time, I beg, so we know X X C. Okay, okay, let me, let me. The power of God is here in this place. Lift it, lift it, lift it. 
I don't know what he's saying, bro, but that's like, I was Yeah, so guys, uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> Joe, if you know, if you want to get someone calling my name, yeah. go check it out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our song recommendation yeah. for you guys. Some, some people might not like this song because they don't want Jesus to call them because they won't answer. <laughs> they won't answer. Just like me, I, I, used, I, I, don't, I didn't used to like the song because I was thinking, ah, you know, what if Jesus calls me and I become a pastor, right? Immediately, mm. And then I, I didn't want to throw away my worldly life. For yeah. This, for, 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 you see, this sounds stupid. Like, oh... Uh, <laughs> thank god thank yeah but people are also singing the song just for just for just for words yeah because <laughs> they don't really mean it <laughs> they don't really mean it just, just song is deep bro like, ah, just just kind of like you said that if i call you I yeah you answer you answer like, oh i thought it was a song i i would just sing it i didn't even mean it like that god you know i didn't mean it <laughs> You know, I didn't mean it all. Uh, I was just singing it. Everyone was singing it. I didn't even know it was a Christian song. I just, I just, I just, I just, if you call me, maybe you call me another time. Mm, I, yeah, I'll answer. I, I'll yeah. answer, you know. For now, I'm still yeah. enjoying some one or two. Let me just hear it a few times. I might say it again, but mm. it doesn't mean that I'm enjoying it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. So do you want to add anything yeah. for me? Uh, what I will add is that I think my brothers and sisters out there, I think that if anyone is a leader somewhere, you know, or gets the opportunity to become a leader somewhere or knows someone in this leadership position and has the opportunity or the chance to like, you know, speak to this person, it's like leadership requires, first of all, submitting yourself under Christ, obeying the will of God and doing the will of God and loving everyone equally, like loving your neighbor as thyself. And regarding Jesus Christ, Jesus is our leader. And if we want Jesus to lead us, then we have to also, as Christians, obey the word of God and do his will. You mm. know? Only then can we get the full benefits of the leadership of Christ. Mm. So that's what I can say to this topic. Leadership. Word. Word, 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 word. Okay. What about you, my brother, Bernard? I think you said everything, <laughs> actually. <laughs> uh, I think you said everything. Just sub sub submit to Christ, man, because, okay. I mean, that's like our standard for leadership. And, Amen. yeah, what, whatever we're doing is... Because the whole kingdom coming on earth is this kingdom that we're actually trying to enforce. And, I mean... Mm -hmm. Who better? Who um? Who which which better person to learn on how to enforce his kingdom than the person who created the like who made the kingdom himself? So yeah. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? WID. Yes. yes. WJD. Sorry. What would Jesus w, do? WJD. WJD. Yes. What would Jesus Instead of do? asking WID, you should be asking what would Jesus do? Mm. Yeah. Sending WID text at <laughs> ungodly hours. Ask what would Jesus do? Would Jesus send that text? Mm. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if you pray in tongues, if you're still if you're still in that, you know. You know, there is this video about like Reverend Kissinger, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he talked about <laughs> he said you'll be surprised by what people do and they still pray in tongues. <laughs> well. You'll be surprised what they do. Because the gift, it's a gift, right? Yeah, it you told me Yeah, that. it works without repentance, yeah. Yeah. So you can still pray in tongues and still be doing um activities. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. So let's submit ourselves to Christ and be led so that we can benefit from, you know, the full package. Yep. Amen. 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 So, yeah. yes, I think this brings us to an end to our 
sixth episode of Surviving Babylon, Leadership and Christianity. And we hope you guys enjoyed our our episode. And what's it? What's the do we already have a topic for next week? Should we should we keep it like a mystery? Like, you know, we do have the topics, but we just need to sort them out, Abby. Sort of okay, we're ready. We're ready to with the last episode. We told them what we're going to talk about. Okay, we, okay, yeah. we like like the next topic is going to be a mystery. Yeah, a mystery. It's like sixth episode. It's going to be a mystery unless you guys have something that you guys <gasps> yeah. might, want us, to, might you know, want us to talk about. You know the the number seven because the next episode will be episode number seven. Yeah, and the number yeah. seven actually is 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 significant for the number of perfection because. Oh. It took seven days for God to make the earth. Fact so this, the, so the seventh episode. So should we, should we give it to the viewers to or the listeners yeah, to? Let's give let's let's give it to the viewers to give let's us give a to topic. The yeah. Give us a topic. Give us a topic. We might we we might already have that topic written down, but we just, just yeah yeah. It would just mean that we have chosen that topic because you guys wanted that topic. Yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. And and if you and if you want to write down the topic, you can write it down where you're listening to, to this podcast. If you're listening on Spotify, you can write it down. Um, um, there's going to be a question they're going to ask you while you listen to the podcast. You can just put on the question like the um the topic you would like to um uh, us to talk about, or you can also go on our Instagram page, um Pastor Ben Babylon underscore podcast, um or our TikTok Pastor Ben Babylon podcast. Uh, and also the Surviving Babylon blog um, at www.survivingbabylon.org to also reach us there on the blog also. And yeah, am I forgetting anything, Jeffrey? That's all, brother. No, that's, that's all. Okay. All. Yep. That's all. Um, so prayer. Um, okay, I'm going to pray okay. to close. You, you, you want to pray? Yes. Yeah, I'll pray, pray, pray to close. Um, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father in heaven, just like, we just want to thank you, Lord, for this episode. We thank you, Lord, for um, the teaching us today, Lord in heaven. We ask, Lord Almighty, that everything we said today will not be used against us in judgment. And we ask, Lord, that you give us the grace to practice every single thing that we said today, Lord in heaven. We ask also that you give our listeners and our viewers the grace, Lord Almighty, Lord, to also practice it, Lord in heaven. And, and for each and every listener, that while we're speaking, you laid an instruction into their hearts to do, Lord in heaven. We ask that you please, Lord, give them the strength to carry out that instruction, Lord in heaven, Lord. All this we ask of you, Lord, in Jesus' precious and mighty name of prayer. Amen. 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 So yeah, Amen. we're done. And we're have done. a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're hearing this thing, this podcast. Yeah. Alvida, Alvida Hearn, Alvida Hearn, Max, Alvida Hearn, Max Good. Wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge of Surviving Babylon.